Hello everyone, today I am going to show you a fun project called a strobe light. A strobe light is nothing but a flashing light with a very short on time compared to its off time. Incandescent lamps in this respect is not good because it based on the principle of heating a wire by electrical current. Therefore, its response time is very slow. In old days, the xenon flash lamps were thought to be the only so one source. Uh, though neon lamp works well, but its intensity is very low. When LEDs first came into market, their intensity and efficiency were both low and with a narrow spectrum. Uh, nowadays, LEDs are available with higher power and efficiency and with a broad spectrum like a white LED. So, in this project, I used a white LED. It's a single 3 ampere white LED and to drive the LED, I used a MOSFET and to adjust the frequency of the flashing flashing light, I used a triple five timer and a uh, adjustable resistor is used to change the frequency. And to measure the frequency, I used a Arduino based frequency counter. In this video, you may not be able to see the effect of strobe light that well as the camera rate, frame rate interferes with the strobe light uh, flashing frequency. A strobe light is a flashing light with a very short on time compared to its off time. Flashing rate is adjustable and if the flashing rate matches the rotational speed, rotating objects looks stationary. We can easily create a strobe light. We can use a high power white LED as a light source. And to drive the LED, we can use a MOSFET whose gate is supplied by a series of pulses from a variable frequency gen pulse generator. And optionally, we can use a frequency counter. And the frequency from the frequency, we can tell the uh, rotational speed of any rotating object. I used a very widely used uh, timer, uh, also known as triple five timer, as a variable frequency pulse generator. The pulse width is fixed at 240 microsecond using the resistor 250 ohm, and its frequency is varies is varied by the potentiometer RV1. And this MOSFET is driving the LED. And also, the signal can be fed into an Arduino board to measure the frequency. Arduino Mega Board is used to display the frequency. Uh, I used a I squared C display. Uh, and the pin number 23 digital input is used as the pulse input. Code is very simple just a few lines. Here is the test setup, a rotating object, white LED. This is the driver circuit and here is the triple five timer and the potentiometer to vary the frequency. And here is the Arduino mega based frequency counter. The white LED is uh, screwed on a metal uh, aluminum base uh, for heat sinking. From the frequency count, we can easily find the RPM uh, of the rotating object multiplying by 60. The strobe light test setup is shown here. A rotating disk Uh, a white LED and this is the pulse generator with the LED driver and uh, here is the Arduino based fre frequency counter the 3 ampere white LED is soldered on a starboard and which is screwed on the 
uh, aluminum block. Uh, you can see a tiny white LED. A single LED is sufficient to power to give sufficient light. This is the potentiometer and this is the triple five uh, timer IC. By adjusting the potentiometer knob we can uh, change the frequency. at this point is low I am increasing I can directly read the frequency and from the frequency it is possible to find out the uh, RPM of the rotating disk uh, flashing frequency is slowly increased and you can see the image is almost stationary now uh, the flicker there is a flicker on the image As the camera has a frame rate, you know, uh, that is causing the this uh, flickering. can see that it matches now the pulse frequency matches the uh, the rotation of the speed so it is almost stationary now you can see horse region on the disk and we can directly find the frequency of rotation trying to change the frequency and it uh, goes away the stationary image is gone Again, back to the same frequency. Now, if I turn off the uh, flashing light, strobe light, you can see.